Hello everyone, it's Felipe here. After three months delayed, the Lego Muppets minifigures are finally installed in New Zen. And I've got a box here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open up this box and try to fill the minifigures and give you guys a few guide and review. First thing I notice is the uh, transit box kind of changed a little bit. Instead of a fully enclosed box, you've got the instruction here on how to open it. Uh, they just do a you know, cardboard cover of the box of mini figures and here we go is the box of muppets mini figures so it's quite interesting they don't have the uh, cover up anymore i think they do it this way just to uh, reduce the cardboard they're using which also means there are less reasons for me to keep this box so without further ado let's get started if you have watched my previous videos i usually start with one column um, I will fill the minifigure except for the first one. I will just open it. Uh, if I feel something that I didn't have, I will open it. If I feel something that I already have, I will just put the number on the package. There are 12 minifigures to collect this time, and hopefully, I get three set from one box. And of course, if you are not interested in me opening the package, feel free to jump to the later point of the video, which I provide in review and a few guide of the individual minifigures. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's see what's the first mini figure over here. You might notice um, the camera angle is slightly different just because it's quite late. I usually try to uh, make video during the day to use some natural lights. Um, but, you know, sorry, try to make a change. Um, so here's the first mini figure. First figure is the Dr. Uh, Benson Honeydew. Uh, to be honest, I'm not that familiar with uh, some of the Muppets characters. Obviously, the, the the obvious one I know. Uh, so if you know I got the name wrong, please excuse me. Um, let's see if this one I have or not. It shouldn't be hard to um, feel the minifigure. I know that this one I don't have because I can feel uh, the one by two flat tile here. So I will just open it and let's see who we have this time. Ta -da! Second minifigure is Beaker. Alright, next one. Really just didn't find accessories, but then this hat just gave him out his uh, Beaker again. So I will just mark the number as figure number 3, then move on to the next one. Next. Something interesting. Well, no, actually, it's the same minifigure as before because I can feel the uh, walk talkie. Uh, if I can find the minifigure hat, then it's definitely another beaker. Hopefully, I don't get another one because if I get another one, that's mean uh, I won't get. Uh, Three complete sets. Okay. So the next package. Okay. I quite enjoy uh, the pace of my um, feeling. Um, okay, I can feel the flask. So another uh, Dr. Bunsen honeydew, which is figure number two. We'll try next one over here. You might say, hey, you know, why you know, after so much delay you still do a few guy? Maybe I'm a Muppet myself. Um, I don't think I have this one. Let's just see. No, actually, I have this one because I can feel the flask over here. So another Dr. Benson honeydew. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, hopefully, next one is a different mini figure. I can feel that something different because of the headpiece and also another flat tile. We'll open it up. Hey, it's Miss Piggy over here. 
Okay, next one. Really, this series just look for the accessory. Um, it's got lots of parts. I think it's uh, animal. Maybe let's see. We'll open up. It's definitely it's something that I don't have. Is Fozzy Bear. Okay, next one. I thought it was animal because I feel two sticks and I thought it was the drum, but actually it's just some spare parts. Um, so if you find the microphone or the uh, banana, then it will be uh, Fozzy Bear. Okay, I can feel the banana here, so it's another Fozzy Bear. And it's uh, number seven. Okay, let's move on. I'll try to, you know, get the whole set in uh, 30 minutes. Let's see if I can do that or not. Um, couldn't find the uh, accessory. Oops, I can feel the accessory. I think. Uh, I think it's another Miss Peggy because uh, I can feel the uh, flat tile, the 2 by 3 flat tile and uh, she's the only one has it. So another Miss Peggy over here, it's number 6, number 6. Alright, next one. Okay. Something different, but yet something similar. I think it's a microphone. If I find the banana, then it's another um, cozy beer. Let's see. Come on. Yep, I think it's another cozy beer. The banana is here. Seems to getting all figures on one side pretty quickly. We'll see what's the next one. Still got eight more to go. Um, well, this one got a distinctive pad. Um, I can feel the uh, flat tile. I think it's another Miss uh, Peggy. Yep. And then Miss Peggy. Okay, hopefully, next one is another one that I don't have. Um, feels like it. Um, yep. Just feel like something I don't have yet. Just need to isolate um, the accessory. So this is the accessory that I yet have, but let's just check. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's something that I don't have. I think um, it's one of the uh, old men. Okay. Hey, hey, and it's Waldorf. Okay. Next one. It's pretty cool with that many figure. They give you like not just a spare cup, but a pair of spare cups. So good to get extra accessories. So let's see. Who is this? Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, I can find a cup here. So it could be another world of it. Let's just uh, make sure. Nope. This is I think it's the chef. Open it up. Yes, Swedish chef over here. All right, I've got the half a series already. Let's see the next one. Hmm, 
well, it's the book piece, so it's definitely something I don't have, I think it's a stapler. Yes, stapler. Okay, next one. Just feel more to go, then we're done here. Okay. Come on, get me the accessories so I can feel the book cover. So it's either Statler or the dog. And I can feel the keyboard, uh, you know, one by two flat tile. So it will be another Statler, which is figure number 10. Right, next one. You know, just this one and one more left on this uh, tile. Okay. I can feel the book cover piece. Let's see. Yes, this one is Stefano or the dog. I can feel a hair piece, so it's most likely this, uh, the dog. I have no doubt. So let's just open it. Yes, I'm right. Rogue the dog here. Okay, I just need four more figures to complete the set. Let's see what mini figure I have here. Uh, lots of air in this. Uh, Okay, I can feel the book cover piece. Yeah. And another stapler. So, figure number 10. Figure number 10. Alright. Let's see what's this one then. Come on, come on. I can use something, <laughs> but I don't know what's that yet. I think. Oh, this is interesting. It's something I never felt before. Uh, it's quite a long accessory. I think this is uh, Kermit the Flock. I got his uh, music instrument. Am I right? No, but then there's a minifigure that I don't have yet, so that's good. Janice over here. Three more to go. Three more to go. Okay, let's see. Who do we have here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this one is. Kermit the Frog, indeed. Is it? Could it be something else? I don't know. It has to be him. Anyway, it's something that I don't have yet. Is there some unique piece over here? We'll just open it up. It's actually Animal. And his Animal is actually a pretty awesome figure. Probably my favorite from this series um let's see what do we have for next one uh i can feel the guitar so it's another genus just double check is her electronic guitar yes it is so it's uh genus so what's number is genus again this is number 12. okay next one Lots of parts. Right. There's so many parts then it will be animal. Yep. These uh drumsticks. Okay, just confirm to see if I get the run tile or the piece. Yep, it's definitely another animal, which is trigger number eight.
Let me turn on the egg. Next one. Lots of parts again. I think it's another animal, but let's just double check. Maybe. So this, this, I think so. It's lots of parts, but not that many parts. Let's just. Uh, Double check, double check. No, this is the uh, electronic guitar, so it's another Genesis. Next one. Okay. This one. This is interesting. Okay, this is parts of drum, so another animal. So pretty much some of the figures I already have. You know, two extra. So let's be something that I still haven't got yet. Um, who this is gonna be? You know, this series has so many unique accessories, right? So you pretty much just need to isolate um, the accessories, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is short, like, it's uh, either console or Kind of the frog, but it's too good and figured it out. Hmm, it's gonna be. Come on, get me the accessories. 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 Well, I can feel the nose. It's definitely console. Yes. Gonzo. So just uh, missing Kermit the Frog. Where are you? And I think there he is. It's definitely his uh, music instrument. So it's not. It's not the electronic guitar. So I think I've got the full set here, and it's Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog over here. So here's my set of Muppet spinny figure. At least I get one set, so what I'm going to do now is going to fill the remaining bags and put a number on and then we can look at whether I got three sets and we'll look at the individual mini figures. Okay, sad news. After I went through all the bags, I actually only get one full set. Um, the problem is that I have four extra Stettler, which is the mini figure that I really don't want extra. Um, yeah, which is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, here we are the review after uh, the disappointment that I didn't get free set in one box. Anyway, I got twenty percent off, so that's not that bad. So first we have uh, Rolf the dog over here. It's actually quite interesting mini figure. Um, I'm not particularly attached to this character, but I really like the accessories. So we've got the Beethoven's uh, bust, and also um, you know the the thing for, for the, the music scripts. Uh, this is printed, so it's actually a really nice accessory. So even you don't like the mini figure that much, or you don't know much about the mini figure, um, you know, the accessory is so good. And this uh, Beethoven bus actually come with a uh, alternate facial expression, which is pretty cool yet, and uh, quite scary as well. So this is a pretty cool mini figure, nicely done, uh, molded head, some back printing as well so yeah it's pretty cool minifigure and you ought to find this minifigure just look for uh, Beethoven's hair piece and then we have Dr. Burns and Honey Dew over here his accessory just a flask but in a 
uh, exclusive or new color. Uh, cool printing on the torso with uh, medium sized legs. So you can see here, still bendable. Uh, again, you know, lovely molded head again. Uh, whether you love this character or not is depending on how much attachment you have with the Muppet Sir. I think it's a cool mini figure. Um, unfortunately, the torso, well, the legs can be useful um, in other situation, but the torso, you need to replace the hands with normal minifigure hand to uh, utilize the parts. Anyway, in order to find this figure, it's quite easy. Just need to look for uh, the flask over here. And here's Dika, uh, another uh, very cool minifigure, uh, lovely torso, and also uh, Joe molded legs. Uh, pretty cool, unique head mold again. Uh, the accessory is also pretty cool. Uh, this is actually the walkie-talkie plus a 1x2 uh, tile. To find this minifigure, you can actually find uh, the distinctive headpiece or just look for the walkie-talkie. Also here is another uh, very cool minifigure. I think it's excellently done. Uh, to find this minifigure, you just look for uh, his nose. Uh, what's cool about this minifigure though is I uh, really love the print on the torso and uh, also his uh, medium-sized leg. Um, you can see they've got printing on the side to represent the shoes that they're wearing even though uh, Muppet, you rarely see them wearing shoes anyway and his accessory is uh, this chicken with the unique print um, so yeah, pretty cool minifigure, quite easy to find Kami to Frog, one of the more famous uh, Muppet that most people are known about um, we've got his uh, musical in instrument here is it called banjo or ukulele? Well, definitely not ukulele, but I think it's called the, the banjo. Anyway, uh, a rainbow piece, which is gonna be quite useful. Uh, you know, the printing of his uh, body, although it seems again a bit weight <laughs> if you use the minifigure proportion, but he used the uh, medium size leg. And to find this minifigure, just look for the rainbow piece. Miss Peggy over here is also a very excellent minifigure. I think it's um, a really good uh, representation of Miss Peggy. Um, the molded head is done uh, in an excellent way, and the the outcome is pretty good. You know, lots of printings on the torso and the uh, legs as well. Of course, it's also Joe molded. And the other thing, and you might notice is the uh, the arms. You know, this uh, two. I think it's also dual molded, but yes, indeed, or it's printed. It's hard to say, uh, hard to see as well, but it's a really, really good minifigure. And her accessory just, uh, the, I think it's a poster magazine. Um, but yeah, this is a excellent minifigure. And to find Miss Piggy, just look for this flat tile over here. Fozzy Bear over here, uh, lovely printing on the also in the legs and uh, this one is the normal size legs uh, you know specialized head mold uh, to find this minifigure either look for the microphone or the bananas then we have animal I think this is the best minifigures in this head not just because of the minifigure but his accessories you know I think this is one of the minifigure with the most complex build uh, ever for the accessory uh, this is printed, uh, this is drum set and it's actually a pretty cool uh, drum kit. You can see here some movement over here. Um, I think it's just an excellent minifigure and the magic wand has the drumstick, excellent molded head, uh, printing on the torso and the legs. I think uh, it's definitely my favorite minifigure in this particular series. And to look for animal, just look for all these pieces over here. There's so many pieces in, in the pack, so you know, you can't miss it. And this is Waldorf over here. I think the good thing about this minifigure is that the cup and uh, plate, they give you an extra set rather than just one of the piece. Uh, ZZZ, uh, two by two tiles. Cool printings on the um, torso, and uh, it's just a uh, you know, normal brown uh, legs, but with his shoes printed on it. Um, excellent, you know, motor head. Um, yes, you know, unless you're really attached to this character. Otherwise, in terms of, um, you know, the quality of the minifigures and other excellent uh, minifigure. And to look for Waldorf, just look for this 2x2 uh, two two, uh, flat tile. 
next mini figure here is the Statula. Unfortunately, I got five of these. Um, so the mini figure is done uh, pretty well, I would say. Um, again, you know, printed torso, printed shoes on the legs. Uh, his accessory is the laptop with uh, a printed screen. Um, this is a scooter over here. I'd rather have this Muppet as a minifigure. Uh, but I don't know, you know, I don't know much or background about uh, Muppets apart from the key character. What bothers me <laughs> with this minifigure is it's like if I zoom up, I just remove his uh, accessory, you know, zoom in a little bit to his chin, it looks like balls. <laughs> well, I just need one pair of testicles and only five. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> off topic, but you know, to find this, um, you know, minifigure, just look for the the laptop part that's you know so easy to find you know you can't miss it and there's the Swedish chef over here um really lovely print the bow tie on the torso chew on the legs and printing uh, his shoes as well his accessories um, you know this uh, kitchenware over here and also a tomato um, lovely motor head um, and that's pretty much about this minifigure. To find this minifigure, just look for this piece here. It's uh, very easy to feel. And finally, we have uh, Janice. So Janice have excellent printing on the torso and the legs. Um, a new color electronic guitar. Uh, distinctive, you know, motor head. I think, you know, the 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 mold for this head looks really good and accurate. Um, although, you know, it's not my favorite character, but I do like the. Uh, minifigure itself. It's always good to get some new color of the guitar. In order to find this minifigure, just look for the guitar. And this is the LEGO Muppets minifigure series. I think it's actually an excellent uh, series of minifigure. Every character uh, is done quite well, but of course with this kind of licensed theme, you really need to have some attachment or you like um, the, the characters. To actually, you know, appreciate um, the the whole series. I mean, you you kind of get some extra stuff, but at the same time, if you you know like the character so much, then you might have more criticism. Uh, for me, as just a pure Lego fan and a casual, you know, Muppet. Um, well, I wouldn't say myself if a fan, but you know, know those iconic Muppets character. I think um, this uh, minifigure series is done really well, and some. Um, Really interesting accessory for me. The best minifigure is definitely uh, Animal. Not not just the minifigure, but his uh, accessory is really cool. Uh, all the other minifigures were done really well too. Uh, some interesting accessory, but unfortunately, I got you know not three complete set, but you know five of this uh, Statler uh, minifigure here, which I wish I only get you know no more than three, uh, but that's okay. It's also interesting the the box no longer has a lid on top and the cardboard itself is a lot thinner. So when I actually got the box from the shop, I thought, did I got the right pack because this felt so light. Um, and that's it for the uh, Lego minifigure the Muppet series. Um, you know, opening field guide and review. I hope the field guide still helpful with the delay. I really hope that you know I do. You know, get this um, on time, like everywhere else in 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 the world. But unfortunately, for the you know supply chain issues, quite hard in New Zealand to um, you know get the minifigure series on time. It's been a um, few series in a row that we got delayed. Especially this one got delayed, you know, more than uh, two and a half, like, approximately three months compared to other parts of the world. Hopefully the next series we do get it on time, not so late, but I think it's still one month late. The uh, next series, series 23, uh, we scheduled to have those in store in October. So probably I won't be able to get the review done until uh, November. But anyway, I do hope that next time I do get free complete set and able to make the video on time so I don't end up like a Muppet doing a few time while everyone else already got their favorite mini figures. Let me know what you think about this uh, minifigure series in the comment section below. If you like my video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. And I'll see you next time.